So before we get started, I do want to let you guys know how we go about getting products in for review on this channel. Uh, the guys over at Bull Armory are friends of ours, so they did send us this gun free of charge for this video and for future content. So please keep that in mind as you watch the video. Um, always want to let you guys know, we appreciate you watching, and without further ado, let's get into the first round. All right, first rounds with the Axe full-size Tomahawk. Got a nice little uh, five-port awesomeness going on up here on the top. This thing feels really good in the hand. I can tell you that right before I start shooting. The Ergos, this beaver tail, um, yeah, feels like a 1911 grip angle in a striker fire platform, which is something I really dig. Um, just shooting some 124s. This thing, like I said, does have five ports. And uh, Hall Sun, it's the uh, 507, but with the ACSS reticle from Primary Arms. Here we go. Oh, man. That thing feels good. Um, we were talking with Marco a little bit about like when you have a ported gun and cycling, this thing is returning right to zero. I'm able to break that next shot as I've already reset and it's ready to go. Um, I got everything in the alpha zone, uh, A zone 10, 10 yards out, I got one Charlie. So it looks like 15 rounds, so 14 alpha, one Charlie. And uh, I'm gonna have Landon and Marco hop up here, get their, their initial thoughts. But dude, this thing feels really good. All right, Landon, you're already talking up this gun. He just found out the price is only 960, well, that's MSRP, so what do you think? In store, probably 850? Around there, high eights, I would say, but still, it's kind of like beating out everything in the market, but let's see how it shoots. Yep, yep, it's gonna beat everything out on the market <laughs> in that bracket. I'm gonna be a little preemptive, but... um. <laughs> Uh, There's like no recoil, man. Watching on the side. Gun shoots really flat, and also too, um, we just came off shooting another gun with a higher bore axis. But this being lower and having the thumb cliff there, it's super natural to point with your thumbs, and that dot is literally just tracking. I mean, right in that A zone. I mean, very impressed, especially for being a lighter gun too. All right, we got a special guest on the range with us. Marco, introduce yourself, please. What's up, guys? Marco Cabahug from uh, Terran Tactical Pro Team, also Super for Super Rally Munition here in uh, Vegas. Let's try this bad boy out. Let's try some doubles. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, yeah I like it. The uh, return is actually, I was overworking myself and just should have just let it go because it actually returns very consistent as far as the dot to the target. Uh, the ports work very good with the 124 grain we're using right now. The stippling is actually very comfortable. It's actually on the medium aggressive end, so it's not soft like some other manufacturers. And it's got this lip right here, which I do like to mount up my uh, hand coming into it. So you can really get a tight lock on that thing. But I like it, especially for the price. It's under a thousand ish. So. Question for you. So since we just came off shooting a different review that was ported and we were mm -hmm. talking about, yep. what would you, like being, you know, we were talking about the different ammunition that Supervale produces, yep. what would you run through this, do you think? I'd like, definitely use the 115, the hotter stuff, because I want uh, all that gas advantage to help the, uh, keep the gun lower. Ideally, because you want that, because I want to do less work on the gun. So I can just concentrate on the shooting portion and then not have to fight the gun. So this thing is nice though. Now, for those of you wondering about the hits, I do want to show you guys. So as you can see, consistently, most of it was alpha. Uh, this was the one that I threw, and I know Landon, you were more up here. And then Marco, kind of talk about your this saying. So this is me trying to overwork the gun, thinking I have to fight the gun to get the recoil to bear into the dot I want it back, essentially. Honestly, I could have just left it kind of with a neutral strong grip and just kept the dot here. It would have tracked back by itself. This is actually just me fighting it. That's just a timing issue. But the gun shoots actually very good. So. And this is also Marco right here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when I, yeah, when I got used to it, but this thing is, it's a uh, pretty cool. As always, gonna get this thing zeroed up real quick. Out at ten yards. Here we go. So the barrel is definitely grouping well, so accuracy is on point for me. Uh, first two shots were these two, which is exactly two inches high of dead center, and then these other three are about an inch left. So maybe I'll go halfway the distance and see how close we are here. So I'll make my adjustments and uh, see where we're at. All 
All right, so I took this first shot here and realized I went the wrong way on my adjustments. So readjusted off of that and now we're getting closer. I think windage wise, I'm fine. So I'm just gonna adjust for that like quarter, uh, one and a quarter inch and we'll be good to go. Took a few more, some micro adjustments, but we're good now. I like this little group here, just quarter inch above center. Uh, literally, I'm gonna go one click down and leave it alone. Now that our zero is dialed in, I figured let's not even mess around. We'll walk it straight out to 100. Marco says confirm at 25. I say let's have some fun and confirm at 100. <laughs> Just barely off target. Low center. Hit. Center. Hit. Just off the left. So, when you started saying low, I don't know why, I kept going low. <laughs> <laughs> then I realized, oh, low means bring the, the yeah, optic up. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, so like the, most of the misses were like maybe an inch, three inches. I put the bottom of the chevron at like the chest area, okay. and that's when I hit. Okay. All right, Landon, let's see that 100 yard. First shot, Landon. One shot, Larry. Oh! 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 Barely off target. A little left. I'm gonna hand the gun off now. <laughs> That's good, dude. So question, I noticed something, you know, I know that when you, you guys are always self-diagnosing and like looking at stuff. Yeah. I noticed back here, my natural instinct, I go click bang at this distance, why? That's usually a rifle thing. So most guys will pin the trigger, especially it's a, especially with rifles. I don't do it up close, rifles. but back here, I'm like, oh, yeah. I just found myself like, pfft holding it, coming back out. It's like a rifle thing for long range, especially so, PRS guns. That's usually a common occurrence. It's just one of those things. So my mind's thinking since we're shooting at further distance, I should I be using like, a rifle? Yeah, it's pretty much like, this is a rifle right now. I treat everything like a rifle. Yeah, like, I'm just gonna put a buttstock on this thing, we're good. <laughs> Mark, are you gonna get a first shot? Hopefully, the downside is I got astigmatism, so the dots are usually bigger when they're... Gun. All right, Landon, Landon, you won that stage, dog. Yeah, <laughs> Landon wins this one by a long way. For me, it's like the reticle is covering up too much. It's like it's hard for me. I know. Well, yeah, that thing yeah. was just kind of floating yeah. around there, and when it was in the general area, that's why I could break the shot. But we'll bring in some B-roll guys. With the, what they're talking about is the uh, Vulcan ACSS. Yeah, so it's, it's a larger chevron, especially a distance on these little targets. I mean, up close they're big. Back here they're tiny. But uh, it's a chevron versus just a smaller dot. Yeah, and a lot of people, their argument for the chevron is like, well, you can be more precise because it's just the tip of it. <laughs> and using that to just hold in that general area, I'd rather have a dot I just put on where I'm trying to hit. And at this distance with the right gun and that dot, I mean, you can do it pretty repeatedly. I just yeah, had stigmatism. That's my problem. So that's, that's, <laughs> that's my body. <laughs> kind of touch dot, on that though. Fighters. While we're back here, touch on, yeah. you know, a lot of people ask me all the time, like, hey, what, what MOA dot do you, like, do you, I always go the smallest one possible. Same, small, like, I'll go for one if possible, two and a half, one, right. two and a half is my and like, optimal. It may not be the right answer, but a lot of times people are like, what well, if I want bigger? I just yep. increase the brightness. Exactly. Boom. Increase that's what brightness. I'm talking about. Like, people are like, yeah. well, I, I want a bigger sight. I'm like, cool, just turn the brightness up. Yeah. You know, because you can't go smaller than a 6 yeah. MOA yep. if I buy a 6 MOA. Right. So, Agreed. Yeah. I will say though, in regards to the ACSS versus just the dot, I don't, me personally, I don't notice a difference. Mm -hmm. Like I don't, I don't have, I struggle the same amount with both. <laughs> <laughs> 
we moved up to 25 yards, guys. I'm just gonna have Marco kind of like burn down a target, just so you guys can understand. Like 100 yards, guys, is far. Um, it's not like your typical shot, so we don't want you thinking the gun's inaccurate because we were shooting from 100 yards and we could only hit like two out of a mag. But you know, ideally, I feel like for me personally, 25 yards would probably be the furthest I would ever take a handgun shot in a defensive situation. Don't get me wrong, something could change that. Variables happen, life, whatever. But to me, I do want you guys to see accuracy at 25 yards. Boom. One down. So, so pan over there the target for me, Gil. So you guys can see C-Zone. So standard silhouette human size target at 25 yards. And he just put 16 out of the 17 rounds on target, no problem. This gun just runs, man. All right, guys, our favorite drill. Here we go, build drill. That's actually clean. That gun don't move, man. 204, though. <laughs> 204, uh, yeah. I got a line breaker, but they're all clean. Let's go again. You ready, Gil? Ready. <sighs> ah, I saw that frickin' delta and then corrected. 208. So one delta there. Let's go. Man, this thing just feels good. I think I we found your new carry gun, Landon. I'm saying. I don't really like Glocks, but that one I like. Right? Here you go, stand by. <sighs> 179, first shot was an 8-9. And we got 18, 18, 17, 19, 18 splits. And those are all clean. Whew. That was my line breaker, Charlie, from the first run, but that actually doesn't look like it's a line. I don't know, Marco, give me your, you're my official. That's still there. As long as the perf touches, what we say is matches. <laughs> Flag on the plate. You are good. All right, so out of all three build drills, they're all alpha except for the one delta in the second run. But I did get a clean build drill run of a total time of 1.79. Let me let me take this off for the, the interweb so they can see the actual time. I can't get it off here. Oh, it's because I got this on too. <laughs> here you go, Gil. Got it there. Well, 288 clean. 304. Uh, one Charlie. I'm gonna get sub two seconds. Was that Charlie? One Charlie up in the top right. Ooh. All right, we gotta make it sub two and clean landed. Two, five, three. Good hits. I think I'm upset because I make the gun look bad, but the gun's <laughs> ripping. It looks got, super flat from the side, man. I really like the gun. I don't got the sharpie on me. Oh, here you go. Thanks, man. No, the gun is uh, super impressive for the price point. Those ports are putting in work. I just, uh, I don't know. Not performing today, but the gun's really impressive for sure. Two forty-four. A little slow on the presentation there. Can I get a weird draw? Let's try again. Let's try two. Better presentation. Two fourteen. One two five. And there's one Charlie for sure. It's first shot. String three. Lost count there. <laughs> Shoots good though. For me, it's like the grip is actually, it wants you to pull into it, which is good. It's just putting my hand in a weird spot, which I'm not used to, because mm. it's not like a standard Glock angle, but it's very comfy when you get used to it. It's just me trying to get used to trying to find the proper aim spot for it or index point. But it shoots good. Push sure it through the trolley there too. I'm going to break down the trigger for you guys and then touch a little bit on the ergonomics because I think this thing is phenomenal. So on the trigger, there's your uh, prep. The wall, as soon as you get to that wall, the trigger breaks. Reset is very short. It is tactile, it is audible. And then again, as soon as you get on that trigger, there's nothing more past that wall, it just goes. So everything about the trigger, I'm really digging. It is very easy to uh, get used to. It's intuitive. And I think you guys are gonna like it right out of the box. 
Now touching on the ergos, you'll see up in here, I am running my thumb cliff for the Surefire X300A. Uh, if you're not familiar, definitely check out that video. But they have built-in ledges that are machined into this frame and they actually line up perfect with our long version of the thumb cliff and it lets you have just absolute leverage. Gil's gonna zoom out a little bit and I'm going to just kind of dump the rest of this mag. You ready, Gil? Ready. That entire time, the Chevron reticle just stays in that window and doesn't move. And I'm able just to get as much leverage as I want here. I noticed at first, like you can really overdo it and drive that gun down. But once you find that sweet spot, you know, specifically with what ammo, cause since you're running a ported gun, you'll find that sweet spot and man, it doesn't even feel like there's any recoil. Very, very nicely done, Bull. So we're just gonna do a simple uh, doubles drill. Essentially we're gonna, we'll do, it's usually five strings of two pairs. We'll do a three right now. So it's bang, 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 bang. Mainly just to find out how you're gonna track with this type of weapon with the um, ports and the dot. Ideally you wanna keep in the alpha zone on the target. We got a little uh, white pacer out there right now. We're gonna try to keep it all in the uh, chest area of the alpha zone. But so we'll go hot right now and see what happens. So ideally you wanna get as fast splits as you can, but on the alphas. So I don't have a timer on me. You got that for a chance? Right. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Look at those hits, if you want to see them. 278 total. Yeah. So this is me throwing them one by accident, but essentially this is the type of group you're going to see at seven yards with that type of double. So bang, 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 bang. You kind of want to, with this drill, you're just trying to find out how that dot and the gun is going to cycle back with that kind of speed. You can change the speed too, shoot faster, shoot slower, just to see how, the, how much spread you got on the target. But that was, what kind of splits were those? 17 and 18. 17 18. Yep, so 17 18, that's the type of switch you're going to get. This is me right here on one of them, and then one low first, I think first string, just me trying to get used to the gun still, but we'll try it again. So we're back at seven yards again, string two, we're gonna try the same drill on this gun again. We'll do it from the draw this time. The draw is not so much important as low ready, it's mainly just you're trying to figure out how that gun's gonna react to your timing and then how your trigger pulls are at this distance. Let's try it again. And you got a timer? Yeah. Check it out. So about the same deviation. A little bit getting more tighter now, getting used to this gun. It's probably the third time shooting today. So a little bit tighter. First string was one, two. Next ones are one, two, one, two. So I know at seven yards, that's gonna be my deviation for a double tap at that speed. Closer, you can go faster as well, but you really, you wanna try going farther out, seven, 10, 15, just to see. So that'll dictate your speed on target to achieve alphas. So we'll give it to uh, Landon, let him try it out. Uh, I can't count how many reps we did, yep. but... Yeah, that was good. So, three strings of doubles, ba -ba, ba -ba, ba -ba. All right, YouTube, so first shot, I threw it a little bit low, but then they all started just landing here. Uh, pretty tight grouping. This gun shoots, I mean, really good. Really, really good. It's easy to control, and also, too, the trigger helps you get those pretty tight splits. I mean, did I do it? That was good. How you're supposed to. Yep, that was correct. Uh, yeah, you had 16 and 17 splits, man. Yeah, the main thing is you're just trying to find out your timing to what to, for this distance to get those, achieve those alphas. Yeah, that trigger so, definitely surprised yeah. me on the first doubles right here. Um, that was your first one? Yeah. yeah so then you corrected Bang. from there, that was your longest. It was 0.23, and then everything after that was 16 and 17. Started to clean it up, yeah. No, the, uh, feel bad, because the gun can definitely do it. Um, this one is probably one of the nicest shooting Glocks, not a Glock gun I shot in a long time doing a lot of work for you so usually with a gun that does a lot of work for you you kind of get lazy mm -hmm. so guys will get lazy in the, the grip and then the trigger press because it's got a nice trigger low recoil so you really want to stay hard on that gun no matter what yeah it's just one of those things it, yeah. <laughs> it, it almost shoots itself it's kind of nice with a ported gun we like to compare the different grains of nine mil so the first five rounds are going to be some 124s second set of five are going to be some 115s Last set of five are gonna be the 147s.
before we hop into our final thoughts, let's jump into the specs of the Bull Armory Tomahawk FS. So here is an up-close look at the new Bull Armory Axe full-size Tomahawk. This striker-fired 9mm handgun features a 4.5-inch barrel with 5 inline ports. You will also notice purposeful front and rear serrations along the slide. The gun comes with an RMR optic cut and backup iron sights. In addition to the porting, the barrel is also fluted. The grip features a very high beaver tail, giving you a low bore axis. The grip also features a nice aggressive grip texture with an integrated flared magwell. The trigger guard is double undercut, and the frame also has slide cuts for thumb placement to help mitigate recoil. The gun also features a 1913 Picatinny rail that you see here with a Surefire X300A model attached, also utilizing our QVO tactical thumb cliff for additional recoil mitigation. The gun will ship with two Bull Armory magazines with an MSRP of $980. We have seen it on the internet from websites like Palmetto State Armory though for the low price of $818. In my opinion, that's definitely a steal. For those curious about the holster that we were using, this is the QVO Tactical Secondary on the waistband holster. This specific holster is wrapped in our psychedelic fabric overlay, which gives the holster a little bit of fun and flair. The holster is also very functional with multiple points of adjustable retention. The belt side of the holster is drilled for multiple types of attachment methods to include the Safariland QLS platform for quick on and off release. All QVO Tactical holsters are made to accommodate red dot sights as well. You can find this holster and many others like it on our website, qbotactical.com. All right, Landon, final thoughts, bud. You go ahead and take it first. Um, so I'm not a big Glock guy. So when he pulled this out of the case, I was like, damn, dude, like another Glock, not a Glock thing. Like this is our new spin on it. But they did what everybody's asking for. So they put ports on the gun from the factory, um, which work really good. They're not superficial. Um, the gun does not have any hop to it. And then I'm not sure what Bull Armory is doing for for their trigger, but it's super clean. I mean, crisp break, short reset. Uh, most Glocks, a lot of people don't know, but they're technically double action. Like when I'm pulling the trigger on a Glock, that mushy feeling, that's you compressing the firing pin spring, and then it just lets off. But triggers like the Timney or the new Glock Performance Trigger, they're all pre-cocked, so they're a lot more clean, and they really help you out getting those fast split times. Like you were doing some crazy build drills mm -hmm. today, and uh, I didn't make the gun look too good, but the gun, like I would buy this gun, 100%. Like if anybody wants to ask me on my opinion, um, I would spend the money on this because everything I wanted would do to a normal Glock. Yep. So for me, I'd say it's for the money, it's pretty hard to beat pound for pound. The thing is the five ported gun, it's like the ported gun's always nice, shoot nicer, especially hot ammo. Uh, the grip is aggressive and medium aggressive, which is kind of nice, not too bad, not too soft. I will say it does have a little bit uh, more pronounced beaver tail there, so your grip does go a little more in deeper, kind of took me getting used to, especially off the draw. Uh, RMR cut, for the money, it's going to be hard to beat this gun. Uh, trigger's nice, like Landon said. It's uh, can't complain at all, especially out of the box like that. Uh, Roger. Uh, guys, for me, it's very similar to everything they're saying. Um, Bull pretty much takes this striker fire, gives it a 1911 grip angle, which is something I really appreciate. The trigger was phenomenal. Uh, the texturing, like like they're both saying, everything about this gun is pretty dang sweet. Um, you'll see here in the B-roll, like we shot the crap out of this thing today. I think we're just under 400 rounds on this gun right now. Um, and there's nothing that, you know, uh, I think function-wise about the gun is negative. For me, the only thing I'd say is a con for me, the aesthetics aren't really my style. Um, it's got like, I kind of, I don't know, like we were kind of talking like, it's, it's got like dragon style. Like, yeah, it's like a dragon scale. Like Yeah, and that's just aesthetics wise. It's just not my thing, but it, I would still buy this and run the crap out of it. Like point of aim just felt super intuitive, very natural. It's very easy to get on target with this thing. And yeah, everything they said, I'm not going to sit here and beat a dead horse, but um, you know. Serrations are nice too. The front serrations are pretty deep yeah. in there. Everything is purposeful on here and it functions really well. Uh, Marco ran me through some new drills today that I hadn't had experience with and this gun did really well for me. So, and you know, Lana keeps saying he didn't make the gun look good. I mean, the gun made you look good, dog. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, flat. 100 yards are killing. Your doubles oh, yeah, are yeah, killing, yeah. man, 100 yards yeah, 100 out. Yards so, certified. you know, yeah. everything there, guys. That you're, if you're looking for that gun that we're all hunting for, which is the grip angle that we want, ports from the factory, like the only thing you need to do is put an optic and a light on this thing and it's good to go. Yeah. So, and some holsters, of course. Yep. Yeah, and you'll see that. You should, you should have seen um, our uh, secondary OWB holster was in the specs portion. But um, yeah, guys, appreciate you watching the video. Questions, comments, leave them down below. We appreciate that as always. Um, Bull Armory, thank you for sending this out. Like, you knocked it out of the park with this thing. Um, being MSRP on this, guys, is 960 bucks. So I'm pretty sure stores, you're gonna see it. Probably 850, 900 would be my guess. Yep, but we were all thinking like 1,000 to $1,200. And then when we looked it up on, on the internet, it was $960. So definitely, if you can find one, I'm sure they're gonna be sold out with the second 
going to come into stock. So if, you, if one comes into Ventura, it's a priority gone because Landon's already going to score it. True story. But um, as always, guys, appreciate you watching. Like, subscribe, all that stuff. We appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you in the next video.